he had said in the in, he had basically made a statement that they got most different brothers in the camp got multiple wives. We ain't in that time, man. Yeah. You cause uh hey I can you see if you can find it or if y'all brothers can find this in first or second Corinthians. I think it's in first Corinthians the seventh chapter, I believe, about to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai without distraction. I just want to make uh, bring that out because you know popping a woman and getting your rocks off and having a wife or trying to deal with a woman is two different things. We not in the time to be having wives, you know. Paul said be uh, if he'd rather that we be like him and don't have a wife. You know? He said, but if you have a wife, be as though it's gonna be basically you be in the mind frame that it's like you don't even have a wife because you're gonna be so caught up into the to the word. You know? Is this in that? You got it? You want that specific? Or? Yeah, I just want to get straight to the point. About serving the Lord without without distraction. But whenever you find it, bring it out. And uh, we not in that time to be having multiple wives. Especially if you like one of the top guys in, in the camp. You know? Because dealing with a woman requires time. You know? Or they gon' they gonna want time. So I said like that, they gonna want time. Uh, and if you popping them, you making babies with them. I mean, how you gonna really get into the word? Yeah, you still can find time to get into the word, but you you also gonna have a lot of lost time too. My God. So if you gotta, it's a difference. You know, we understand that we can't. You really can't even apply. All the rules and regulations, the laws that apply to how we're supposed to deal with a woman, we can't uphold it because right. we're in captivity. They in captivity. Right. They the, the scriptures say they was gonna be that your wives should be ho uh, harlots in the city. So they out these women is whores out here. So we can't even we can't even properly uphold the, the laws of how to deal with a woman right. or a wife in this society, man. I mean, if you got a woman and you dealing with her, you do the best you do the best you can. But I mean, the focal point ain't into the having uh, being into your wife and catering to your to your to your woman. And I'm just going all I heard them say, so I don't, you know. So I don't uh, put words in in, in, in that man's mouth. He did say he made the statement to Sarnetta that. Brothers in the in the, in the, in the school got multiple wives. He didn't specify who, but we not in that time. Now, if you want to pop your broad and get your rocks off, all right. Or you might say, well, you can't do that to an Israelite, a Israelite uh, woman because you can't. We can't. We we can't just pop an Israelite and then burn off. Well, technically, yeah, that that's true. We not we not supposed to do that, man. But if this a woman is gonna get is gonna get in the way of the work, if they get in the way, then you gotta cut them off. That's what the scriptures say. Come. Any distraction of you serving your high by Shem Yahweh Shai, you cut it off. And these women is going, they'll lead you astray, man. Yep. I, I'm not trying to get on the on these women, or that the topic of the women. I'm just I'm just making a point about uh the what points these other camps go off on. I mean, you're not going off if you got multiple wives, but that's not we ain't it. it ain't it's a time and a season for everything under the heavens. Go ahead, brother. No, let me say this. That don't even apply as far as uh, dealing with the black woman today. They they are not Israelites. They, you know, yeah, by yeah. seed, they might go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But right now, the Most High, there's an Israel of God, right, which huh. these women don't belong, don't ain't even in the inkling of being a part of the Israel of God. Yeah. Really, they, they two thirds are like heathens. Yeah. And they behave as such out here in the streets. So, I mean, just like the brother quoted the scripture, that's, that's in Michael, yeah, but uh, these women are harlots in the city, man. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And how do you deal with harlots? Shit. You, you pop them and go, read the yeah. book of Hosea. You know, Hosea dealt with her for a, a, a period of time, this one, one chick. And when once he was oh, okay. through with it, he was through with it. Yeah. You know? 
the time frame up to that man. But but that's way different from being married. So you marry these women, you know, you you say you get married, you 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 call yourself, I'm gonna keep the law and I'm gonna do what's what's right in the eyes of the Lord. Right. And you marry this black woman, uh -huh. she she's not gonna honor the scriptures. She's not gonna do right by you. She gonna cause you misery and grief. Yeah. So why would you commit yourself unto the wicked? You know? So I mean just like Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it's a time and season for everything. This is not the time and season to, to be family man yeah. and to be trying to marry whores. These right. women are whores, yeah. you know? And the brothers are hip to it, but any of you scoffers that's watching this video, these black women are whores. You Mexican women are whores, just so we yep. get that straight. Yeah. Yep. You, 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 you Latin tribe, you women, you Latinas, y'all are whores. Hey, they walk you know? around with their body exposed. Right. That's what whores but, do. Now go back but to they'll the fuck, They'll fuck 15 or 20 niggas a week, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, so, you, yeah, brother. You might not think that that, that, that could happen. That Literally, that ain't even right. being dramatic. That ain't even being oh, dramatic. Yeah. In a lot of cases, man, you don't fucking know. You got hundreds of niggas. You know, I'm talking about all the tribes. I'm talking about you got these Latin tribes is pursuing this dirty uh, black woman. Yep. You know, but all the tribes, a woman on the, on the average day, she might get approached by 20 to 30 dudes. Yep. You know, I'm just throwing the wild numbers out there. So you add that add that up in a week. She done got hollered at by two or three hundred niggas. And you think out of two or three hundred niggas, she might pick. 15 or 20 of them that she gonna, she gonna let pop her. Right. Yeah. Might know? be at the same time. It might come. Yeah, they into all this manner. This is this why this kingdom gotta go. Cause it's cool to have orgies and put Train. videos up and shit. And then that's all bull, that's all madness, wickedness. Yeah, but they, but, gonna, they gonna talk, the scoffers gonna talk shit about what we bringing out, but right. they gonna talk shit anyway. Yep. Yeah. So might as well give them something to talk shit about. Right. right. Samson dealt with the harlots, man. Like I said, Hosea dealt with harlots. Judah, Judah. Dealt, well, she he, played he the harlot, right. you know? Right. But, in his but he was going, he was to, he was going to get him a harlot, that's right. you know? Judah the head tribe today. So and, fuck with you niggas hey, talking about. Hey, and then, and then, and the different accounts the brother just mentioned, then none of, the most high didn't rebuke none of them men. Uh, you know, rebuke them and then issue a punishment yep. upon them for the for that. And every time Israel go off, you know the most high gonna go punish them and then state the punishment right in the Bible. Yep. yep. Why he gonna, why he punish them and, and, and the type of punishment. You know? And that, that law was for a reason, man. That law was for virgins, man. You you are not to take a Israelite's woman's virginity and then leave because that causes her to be a whore. Oh, right. This is what these women are today. If she's a virgin, yeah, you you obligated by law to deal with her. But if she already done had several different men, you're not obligated to that. You know? Right. And in essence, that's adultery. And but these women are harlots. Yep. You know? I mean, if you find a little broad and you pop a most, if you a Jake, you, Jake ain't into, them females is in, Jake really ain't into that hit it, quit it shit, man. Jake say that on, on rap records right. and all that about, I just want to hit it and quit it. Right. But really, if, if, that, if that pussy is good to that man, he not going, he not going to uh, stop uh, popping that. Right. Not for a brother in the truth. If you hitting something, if you get you a woman and you hit it, a brother not just gonna say, oh, I'm just gonna go hit it, and then you probably gonna wanna keep getting that box. Yeah. But if it's come a nuisance on you, if it becomes a nuisance and a distraction, and you ain't even supposed to give thought to what, well, damn, am I supposed to right. uphold the law to this woman? Man, you ain't supposed to be like, fuck yeah. it. Like the brother not already brought out, then uh, they heathens, because it tell you that a brother that's supposedly supposed to be a brother, according to Matthew 18, it says, uh, how does it go? I'm gonna just roughly paraphrase it. Basically, say if you got an art between your brother, you go, you go to that man and see if y'all can and get it squared away. If if you can't if you can't handle it that way, then you bring uh, a witness, two or three. If you can't, if it don't get squared away, 
with two or three witnesses, then you bring it to the church, to the congregation, and uh, and, and try to uh, settle out the, the differences. And then if he still want to be stiff neck, well, basically, if he if you squared away, the scripture say, uh, if you square, if you uh, if basically if he humble up and accept where he went off against you at, against you at, then you have gained a brother. But if you, by the time you get all the way up to bringing it to the church and y'all can't, uh, you can't do nothing with the man, he don't want to uh, be reasonable, it says then you cast him off as a heathen man. Oh. You know, so the only one that's really going to be a brother is the men in his truth. If you ain't his truth, then you're a heathen. Yep. So what, 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 that, what, you, uh, what uh, more you think gonna happen when applying that to the to the woman? They ain't even about nothing about these scriptures. They nope. even about uh, integrity to the, to the to the lowest degree. I mean, you got some some of these niggas. They all out wickedness, but you can find uh, inkling of integrity in in a, in, a, in a man before you can find. You ain't gonna find shit in these, these women out here. Now I'ma say this, it, it's a handful of them wherever they at that 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 they got some integrity about themselves that's halfway decent. But for the most part, you know, these women is is out of order, man. Yeah. Now that's enough of that, man. Let's get back. Bring that out about the saving the Lord with distraction. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 34, 5. Without distraction. Saving the Lord with, without distraction. And this I speak for your own profit. Not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely. And that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. Right. And if you got, that's why Paul made the statement, I would that you be as, as I am. Uh, and marry and uh, basically don't have a wife for that very purpose not because he has something against women and he didn't like women it's just that his, his the most I put the spirit on, 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 on Paul that he was just caught up into this to, to doing the work he went he didn't have time or what wasn't concerned with, with uh, getting 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 a nut Yeah, so that for that very reason to serve to serve the Lord without distraction. And I'm telling you from my little bit of experience, you know, my little bit of little amount of time in this truth, that a woman is, is can be a distraction. Major. You know? One. I'm talking about one single female. God. Now if you got multiple, Shit. you gon' you gon' you you're not gonna be focused in this word, man. You might memorize a lot of the milk and can and can go out. I mean, anybody can do that. I mean, you can learn about you Israel. Go out, talk about certain laws. We the Israelites go into some of the prophecies, break down how to prove. You know, go through the curses. Man, this word is this knowledge is is like like the uh, you know the apostles bring out uh, all the time that uh, this word is living water. Well, the yep. scriptures say it, but they bring it out a lot. The scriptures say that it, this, this knowledge is living water. So you always learning. It's always, you always getting sharper. You know, if you're applying yourself in the word, you know, if you just want to stay on one level, then go, that's, that's on you. But if you're trying to grow and keep growing, you ain't never going to stop growing until this place is destroyed. Yeah. If you're a man of the Lord, you know, that growth is going to be stunted if you're distracted by, like the brother going in, so the scripture's telling you, them women, man. Or or attending to the, the, the policies of the 501c3. Yeah. You know, because you got to, you gotta, it takes time to, to like, you don't go out and feed the community, for example. That's part of something they do over there. Set up them different programs and attend them different, uh, them different programs. That take time. To, to, to uh, cater to a, to a uh, uh, what you call it, a soup line. Right. For lack of better words. Or uh, cater to a, to a uh, food drive. Food drive, or what's the, they got weightlifting programs. They got uh, drug rehabilitation. And that description, that ain't in the scriptures, man. The rehabilitation, it comes from this, 
the, the knowledge and understanding of the Bible. That's what rehabilitates us. Yep. And then part of that knowledge is, you know, coming back to the dietary laws, uh, dealing with the herbs and not dealing, dealing with the herbs of the earth, the medicine which comes from the earth and not dealing with this, this so-called white man's chemical uh, medicine, pharmaceutical medicine, which is really dead. Right. Now go ahead, you got something? Yeah, I was just gonna uh, just pick it back on, like, cause man, he put that at the end of that chapter, man, letting you know, man, cause the whole chapter basically was going in to how that woman is gonna distract you, man. That's good. About just how, to how to deal with, a, how you deal yeah. with a woman, basically. Huh. The and rules, and it was, it was, uh, and he was telling this is, uh, basically it was commandment because he was saying, I'm speaking through the spirit. Even though he said, I speak not by commandment, he was speaking through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. So it was, it was commandment what he was saying in there. Yeah. You know? Uh, and basically on, you know, how to deal with a woman because the church of Corinth had actually asked, they had a question about, Basically, you know, they was new in the faith, and they had a question on, well, you know, how do we apply to the, you know, this the, uh, this new faith? Because you know, they didn't they didn't know nothing about being the Israelite and what it was all about. I mean, you know, they was they was babies. That's why Paul said, "I fed you with milk and not meat, because you were not able to bear the the meat." You know, so they they had inquired to Paul about, uh, basically. What, is, what can we, how can we deal, how can we deal with these women? How do we deal with them in this truth? And he basically uh, wrote that epistle, or wrote that, well, yeah, he wrote a letter to them in that chapter. That chapter was the piece that he responded to them. Uh, let me reword that. That was, that was one epistle, but that part of the epistle was a response to uh, what they inquired about concerning uh, how to deal with women in this faith. So, uh, jump back to Ezekiel. i uh, make a quick point, real quick. Yeah. Now, I was just saying that he said it, that I was speaking this for your own profit. Brother, bringing out points in the scriptures, it's all that, that the, word, the word is living water, it's all for your growth, man. And coming in new ends to this faith, you need to know, man, you got to ward off the cares of this world. And earlier in that chapter, it touched on uh, being a free servant to the Lord. The only way you're going to be a free servant is if you completely detach yourself from the cares of this world, man. We're supposed to be prisoners to uh, to, the, uh, to hope or to Yahweh Shai, not prisoners to the cares of this world, man. Yep, and if you're an Israelite, one of your main cares, with probably the top care of this world is that woman. That, that Israelite woman, from the so-called black to all the way down to the Latin tribe. Jake's main objective is to get some bots. That's why they do what they do in these streets. Now go back to Ezekiel, brother. Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. 